and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Ayara Brawl. That's right, Ayara Brawl? Wait, Brawl? We got Brawl, Hawkeye. Yeah, that's right. Brawl is here, finally. We we're going to be playing some Brawl in Standard and look how excited Hawkeye is for some Brawl. Um, we're going to be doing two two Brawl decks today. We're going to be playing Ayara first of Loctwain. And then we're also going to be playing Kethis, the Hidden Hand. Um, so how Brawl works, if you're not too familiar with it, it is a singleton format. You can only have one copy of any card that's not a basic land. So you can have as many basic lands as you want. But besides that, you can only have one copy of any other card. As you can see here, these are all one-ofs. And then you also get a commander that's going to be over in your command zone. We're <clears throat> that's what we're naming our decks after for today. So we're starting with Ayara for our first deck here. And this commander, it starts over in the command zone, and you get you can play it from your command zone for its normal mana cost. So you can basically um, uh, basically treat it as if you have an eight card hand where you have like your regular seven cards that you draw, plus you have your commander in your opening hand basically because you can play it anytime that you want there. Whenever you're, you know, if it's like a, you can either have a creature or a planeswalker to be a commander, it has to be a legendary creature or a planeswalker, either one there. Whenever it dies, um, you can send it back to the command zone and then to replay it, it has an additional cost. Uh, an additional two to, to play it. So like a Yara will cost five mana, two generic, and three black to play it the second time once a Yara dies, and so on. Um, okay, so yeah, we're going mono black here with a Yara. Also, you start, we're starting at 25 life instead of 20. I feel like we're going to be playing against a whole lot of Oko. I think that Oko is, is probably just like far and away the best commander for brawl but we're gonna be two, we're gonna be playing a couple of different decks here today all right so looking at, at our deck we got 19 creatures in here which is not a lot for a 60 card deck i would like you know another five or six creatures or so but there's just not <clears throat> another like five or six creatures that i really want to play but basically um we have some we have some uh some other ways to make creatures you know we got piper of the swarm in here um uh, let's see. Was oh yeah, I was looking for Dreadhorde Invasion. There we go. Dreadhorde Invasion is listed as an enchantment, but you know it makes creatures, and so on. Because <clears throat> the reason why creatures are important is because a Yara's ability. Whenever a Yara or another black creature enters the battlefield under your control, the opponent loses a life and you gain a life. So that's what we're going to be doing. Is we're going to be pinging our opponent, trying to get them down from twenty-five to zero. Uh, we also have you know just like regular combat damage that can that can go in there. <clears throat> to help us out we have the cauldron familiar that, that can ping our opponent to help us out we're gonna try this revenge of the ravens card whenever a creature attacks me or a planeswalker i control they my my opponent loses a life and we gain a life and so it's if you know if you've ever played against um cavalcade of calamity you know how that strong that is like with the, with the cavalcade triggers doing one damage to you each time they attack it's base. it's just like that except for they lose a life whenever they attack us, and we gain a life. We're going to be trying that card out. Another card you don't see too often in Standard is Obnixilis, the Hate Twisted. But I think this card's a little underrated, honestly. So whenever my opponent draws a card, Obnixilis does the damage to them. So that, you know, over time, that can add up and help with all of our ping damage and everything to help reduce our opponent's life total. And, um, and uh, then we also have... It has minus two, destroy a creature, its controller draws two cards. Now, if my opponent has some devastating creature that's going to be killing me, I can use that ability on that creature. Or if it's like just a great blocker that I want to get through and be able to do a lot of damage, we can use that ability. But honestly, we can just be doing that to our own creatures. You know, we can destroy our own burglar rat to draw two cards kind of thing. So, you know, like we can, we can destroy our own creatures, draw some extra cards. So that's pretty cool. So we got some, we got options, basically there. All right, well let's get to it. Got lots of removal in there, everything like that. So here we go. We got brawl. Um, I don't know exactly how many games we're gonna play. We'll just kind of play it by ear here. We'll see how long the games take, all that kind of stuff. Let's just play some brawl. <clears throat>
Okay, in your 10 games of Brawl, you got four Ayaras and no Okos. Huh. Yes, we do have a Price of Fame in here. Um, hey, Chief Seth. And also, hello to Sinful Gamer. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. I should have said that when you're playing, like, whatever color colors your commander is, like, those are the only... You can only play cards from those colors. So, I mean, it's like... Niv Mizzet's five colors, so you can play all five colors. A Yar is only mono black, so we can only play black and colorless. So, like, Footlight Fiend is black and red. We can't technically play Footlight Fiend because it's red. Same with, like, Ashiok is blue and black. We cannot play Ashiok. Well, my opponent's hand was really ideal, honestly. Turn two ramp, turn three ramp, and Sahili. It's a pretty good looking hand over there. Not exactly sure how we're going to get rid of this Nimiza yet. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if, if Arena import just doesn't work or anything yet. I, I don't know. What I would recommend. Oh, because it, it says everything's in the sideboard. On Stream Decker, it just has everything in the sideboard. Hmm. Let me try something real quick. So they played Golos to go get another land instead of playing Nif Mizzet. Hmm. I don't have the I don't have the copy paste available anymore. Uh, let's see. Or I can do this. So we could do export. Okay, that should be better now. Alright, so that should be better now. I just have all 60 in the main deck. You just have to move a Yara over. first link. That should work better now. Why would they play the Fires of Invention? You got Golos in play. Huh. Oh well. Um... Yeah, I mean, obviously we're losing this. Just have too much mana. Card advantage, all that kind of stuff. We're not going to be winning this game. Yeah, my opponent had a really good hand, like Par Paradise Druid and Arcane Signet. <clears throat> it's a very good hand.
All right, defeated. Oops. Hey, yep. Team, yeah, we're playing. We got two Brawl decks a Yara and Kethis. And then we got a couple donation decks to do after that. Okay, you're going to do a Gadwick deck tonight? Nice. That's pretty awesome. Did I, forget, did I forget to put Signet in the Katha stack? I basically don't remember if I have it in there or not. No, it's in there. Okay, good. Yeah, we ran out of time, Sangriel, yesterday. We didn't get to play Team or Invention. Uh, the other decks that we played just took a, you know, took a really long time, and so we didn't didn't have time for it. Oh, that's awesome, team. Okay, so yeah, you're doing um, Yorvo and doing good with Yorvo. That's, that's a good one. I like it. All right, got our opponent down to 20. Wonder if they have shock. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. If they would have attacked with this Swift Blade Vindicator also, would have made my life a little more difficult. So as you can see here, now Feather cost um, Red, White, White with two generic as well. Yeah, the tar the to sorry, the tokens have card styles if the card has a card style with it. All right, let's look for removal for Feather. Well, Drill, drill Bit's not bad. We can do better, though. Where's removal at? There's removal. Uh, 
I do want another land, honestly. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I'll keep you. This is a good game for us. Fire Urchin. Oh, is there a Spark Harvest cosmetic? I yeah, I guess I didn't get that one. Uh, Nubia. Maybe like that. We'll go with Nub. What's up, Nub? Thank you so much for that resub. Alright, hopefully we're not dead. Vindicator has trample. Ah. The chump blocking Vindicator doesn't make a lot of sense. No, the no the donation decks are are not brawl decks. Hmm. I basically just need to stay alive another turn. It's like the most important thing right now. Just going with the three creatures. Interesting. Swiftblade Vindicator is just Embercleave. Yeah, Embercleave says, creature gets plus one, plus one, double strike, trample. This is just, it's normally a one, one. It's just a one, one, double strike, vigilance, trample.
Hey, Jazzaback. Your course will make an excellent. Uh, get out of my way. That's unfortunate. Ugh. Well, this was unpleasant. That was a really good quality draw. Bone Crusher Giant's gonna be tough. It's like five, five double strike trample. Ugh. I mean, I think I'm just dead. I guess I can just cycle Castle because playing a Yara. We go to five. I have four toughness. That's not good enough to keep me alive. So I guess I need to castle. I thought we were going to win that after that, that Liliana. That Bone Crusher Giant was perfect. Killed Liliana and gave him a, a real big threat to go with. Ember Cleave. I mean, I'm, I'm dead here. Yeah, GG. Swiftblade Vindicator and Embercleave. Scars are powerful. Those hit they hit hard. Ugh. I have a lot of cards that are not super powerful in here. Hey Ubi. Ugh. That was a disappointing game. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how commander tax works with fires of invention. I don't know. <laughs> yep, singles and formats can do that. All right, well, five drop is is a real bad draw. We need to draw lands. Okay, there we go. It's a good draw. You got into a game with Settle the Wreckage. You must have you must have done the friendly. If you do friendly brawl on arena, friendly means you can play historic cards. So you can play anything that's in historic. Mistakes were made, lesson learned.
Yeah, Jezebek, there's there's basically just two options for spending gems, either either buying packs or playing limited, you know, drafting and um, doing sealed. Th those are really the only options. I think that as far as like a yeah, so it just depends. If you if you just want to play constructed, then buy then you just want to buy packs, but. Um, if, if you think, um, you know, if you, you know, like playing limited though, you can get more value out of your, out of your gems and you also learn a lot from, from playing limited and you can, um, Uh, it'll, you know, help improve like your game and all that kind of stuff. Of a warlord. Hmm. I'm not going to keep the Ayara I activation up here. Seen that coming. It is just a small headache. Try not to think too hard. Every def <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate. Didn't get to do anything cool with the Citadel. We have so much life. <laughs> I am your inner demon. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to reset the top of the library of, for Citadel. I didn't really want my opponent to draw two cards. Oh no! Come on. Ah, uh, what a nightmare. I got rid of Citadel there. It's a nightmare. Hmm. I don't regret not giving them two cards, though. I don't regret that. It's just, it was really unfortunate that we just had land reset. It's land again. And we don't get to do anything with Citadel with millions of life. And then they have removal for it. My opponent's commander is Niv Misery Born. You can see it over here, and also it says it up there. And we have the Cavalier. That can take care of Niv Mizza. the god eternals bedevil uh man that was such a killer them getting rid of that and now <laughs> evolving wilds being able to be tapped for mana because a chromatic lantern that hurts So it looks like my opponent's going to win this. A 
really need Bolas Citadel to actually cast cards and not do absolutely nothing. You have a card that powerful. I could have waited a turn on it, because I had, you know, it was my sixth turn, so I played my land, then played Citadel. If I wait a turn, then I, I get a land drop off the top with Citadel. Like, that's, that's honestly what I should have done. I should have waited a turn. Yeah, you can cast your, you can just keep, keep recasting your commander. It costs, every time a commander gets killed, it costs an additional two mana. So as you see here, it, it says, like, five plus two up there mm. well brawl's not going so good for us here Our opponents aren't struggling at all with five colors. I mean, we should be playing a lot more. Yeah, there's there's still a lot of like tokens in the format and stuff. Like you can make multiple tokens, and your know, Legion's End still like just because the opponent doesn't have more, you know, like you only have the one creature, doesn't mean the Legion's End isn't good. All right, 0 and 3. So our opponent's playing Etrada. I don't know why that was so difficult to mulligan. I, you know, I was thinking about like, you know, do we go down to six with this? But I forgot like with Brawl, you get a free mulligan. So yeah, it's just easy just to mulligan that hand away. <laughs> All right, team. Good luck at bowling night. Yeah, the, the brawl deck should. I mean, it just imports. You you kind of have to turn it into a brawl deck on on here, but it's just the sixty card imports. Um, I need to fix the Kethis deck. Right, I'm fixing the Kethis deck now.
So yeah, basically it should just just import just 60 cards and then you just have to like under the deck settings say say that it's brawl no there's no ranked brawl Yeah, anyone can play Brawl. The Brawl event costs a thousand gold to enter, but there's no... There's no loss maximum, like you can play it as much as you want. And you can switch decks and everything like that, and so it's for the whole week. And then after this, they're they said they're only going to have brawl available on um, Wednesdays moving forward. With any deck, you can you can change your deck all the time. I I have no idea why it'd only be Wednesdays. It makes no sense to me at all. That's upsetting. We'll see if our opponent ever does anything. Doesn't seem like they want to do anything. So it looks like they have counter magic they wanted to keep available. Probably like negate. This is a pretty good combo, these two. Piper the Swarm, Ayara. Piper pay to make a rat. And then it drains the opponent. And then uh, Ayara can sacrifice the rat. Challenge a raging river. Hey, Shnan. Welcome. And welcome everybody from Shnan's raiding party. They stole my Piper of the Swarm. That's not cool. That's not very cool at all. All right, but they're down to six. Hey, yeah, thank thank you so much. It's going going pretty good. We're you know trying our first brawl deck here. Haven't been picking up the wins yet. We're zero and three, but this one is 
looking pretty good for us, at least. Hey, Anonymous, doing good? Doing good? Hmm. So if we do this, we have four. I'm not too concerned with Eva Sandy attacking me right now. Them being pretty close to being dead. All right, yeah. Take care, Shannon. Thanks, thanks for the raid. All right, so we'll just finale both of these creatures. Attack for six. Put them down to one. Yara. So now Yara cost seven to cast. Not sure if I want to take Disdainful Stroke or Rage and a Treachery. Take. I'm going to take that. Hey, there you go, Chief Seth. You already won two games with the deck so far? With this a Yara deck? Cool. Um, I'm not sure if. I would I would assume that disdainful stroke counts the the commander tax, but maybe it doesn't. I don't know how that works, honestly. Maybe it doesn't because they didn't actually. I guess it probably doesn't because they didn't counter Yara. I'm not sure. march into battle and make new comrades <laughs> so i think i'd rather have my my opponent have my ayara and like so basically if i would have taken agent of treachery then they disdainful stroke these things i think i would rather i'd rather have these planeswalkers than the ayara basically Yeah, Yara is still three CMC, but you know, like if you think about Hydroid Crisis, is two CMC, but on the stack, Hydroid Crisis, the X is a lot more. I, I'm not sure how Commander Tax works with that. The focus. I have just the trick for this. I guess I guess I kind of did this wrong because of Narset. I kind of forgot about Narset not letting me draw extra cards. I kind of forgot about that. Hmm. 
So maybe I should take an agent of treachery. Otherwise, it would have been. Normally, I would just Liliana minus two here, draw two cards, or minus four Liliana. Even the weak shall never cross me again. Suffer. Th it is just a small headache. I should still just do that anyway. My Liliana's probably gonna die. From battle to the grave. Yeah, Af Afro, I mean, I would just... Yeah, you can just play more. Um, I would just recommend playing more. Um, <laughs> play more, like, basic lands and stuff. And, and honestly, maybe moving into three colors. But yeah, that, the, deck, the deck doesn't need... Like, you still want to play Golos and everything like that. I wouldn't replace any cards in the main deck. You just don't need Field of the Dead in that deck. I wanted to play it one last time with Field of the Dead yesterday. Keep an open mind. Do an end of the God Eternals? I I am honestly surprised that we haven't seen any Oko yet. They were a lousy servant anyway. To be honest. Your victory will be brief. If you surrender now, a mind is a terrific thing to waste. <laughs> Good help is easy to I probably should have taken that Narset. I honestly kind of forgot about like the Narset's ability whenever I was I was doing that Troy that thing earlier. I, I probably should have taken this Narset. This Narset has just completely wrecked me. Hey, Buffet. Do not defy the designs of an elder. Another bathe in ghost fire. Yeah, that'd be nice to have like an Argol's blood fast, something to do with I mean we need you know, like we have Citadel to use all this life, but yeah, you're right. We we do have a ton of life with this deck. So yeah, having having something to do with all that life would be nice. I agree. So I got 23 cards over here. My opponent has 26. I guess I should be playing... Wait, do I have... I have Command the Dreadhorde in here, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, there is a Commander Dreadhorde in here. Time to go. So yeah, hopefully we find... Command. Suffer the dreams of the damned. Or Bolus Citadel. I'm glad they're doing that on my turn or on their turn, so that I do get to draw a card. Because if they kill that during my turn, I don't get to draw a card because of the Narset. It's not a my revenge. It's survival. I could see Ashiok being a, a really good commander, honestly. Like, I think my opponent's deck would work better with, with Ashiok as a commander instead of Yitrata. Because with the life totals being, you know, being at 25, and also the deck's being yeah we've just we've drawn so many lands <laughs> but the decks being um you know singleton they're not quite as powerful or i guess consistent's the, the better word they're not as consistent and so just milling <clears throat> milling the opponent a bunch is probably a pretty good way to win I was thinking about making Ashiok, but then decided to go Kethis instead. I wanted to do a Yara. But yeah, that was definitely what I was thinking about. Our top end has been really bad so far. It's been it's been non-existent, I guess, is the way to say that. Torbran. Mono red. Hey, Brain. Good evening. Goblin. All right, hoping to set up a pretty nice finale next turn. I, mean, I guess it'll just be a three for one. Play whatever creature. Canceled. I just want one.
All right, so good start to this game for me. We've had good starts, though, in a lot of these games, but we haven't won them, so... We still have 23 damage to do. This is not... Not anything to take lightly. All right, so I need to play the... The Davriel. I need to just get this in play before my opponent has, like, no hand left. Refived. And a far better dresser than you. And then we're gonna hold up um, on Nixos's cruelty. Let me pick your brain. So that if my opponent just plays like Torbrand and then attacks with Ember Hauler, you know, thinking it's gonna be a four-two, we we could block and cruelty the Torbrand. Struggling. Good. Now if they obviously if they have a land, they get to sack Ember Hauler. If they have the five mana. They're willing to just go to damage. So I guess they have like another shock kind of card. Hmm. Pyro Helix, that's pretty cool. It's not, you know, a Yara dying is really not a big deal because of you know it's our command because it's our commander. So we just get it back. Um Would I rather play Spawn of Mayhem though? Nah. I won't play a Yara. Hey, hey, munchies! Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, munchies. I appreciate that. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, not really. Alright, so we'll have them sacrifice Torbran. Put Playcrafter back in our hand. Alright, our deck's working. Ugh, what a whiner. There we go, one and four. All right, on the winning, back on the winning trail. Aggro is kind of tough to do with. Cool. Aggro is kind of tough to do with um, twenty-five life, and that's that's honestly makes a lot of my small creatures not nearly as valuable with all the life that we have. We've seen a whole lot of niv at Reborn. We haven't seen any Oko. A lot of niv at Reborn. This looks like the most popular commander. I guess people have just like an agreement not to play Oko. But the the two previous times we played against Niv Misery Born, they've not struggled with mana at all. You have Sahili. Yeah, you just play Mana Rocks, Niv Mizzet, and then a bunch of really big, impactful um, gold cards, basically. I'm 
poor Piper. They have Nikia in their deck? They should not have Nikia in their deck. They can't cast non-creature spells. Like it's, it's like all they have are non-creature spells. That, it's not a very good combination. Cool. Card doesn't really do anything. Um, I'm just going to be attacking here, even though... You know, they could Finality, and then I don't have, like, a Yara to, to draw a card. But we have, the with the Castle, we can get some extra cards there. I think we want to get the damage that we can in. Um, this thing, of course, though, can gain just tons and tons of life. Also... Yeah, three life a turn is a ton of life. So do they want to play Niv Mizzet or Nikia or Ajani? Nikia? Cool. All right, well, I'm not killing that card. Uh, nope. Gonna wait for Spark Harvest, Niv Spark Harvest, Niv Mizzet. I think it's good for me if they cannot play creature spells. I think that's that's good for me. Or sorry, they they cannot play non-creature spells. So they only have one card they can play here, Krasis. I don't know how they're gonna like get rid of their own Nikia. Yeah, it says. So now my opponent cannot cast non-creature spells anymore. It's like you know, you'd you'd assume they would get rid of it by casting a, a non-creature spell. But they can't. No, yeah, they, they drew the crisis off the Div Misery Born. They didn't have crisis and like they revealed crisis to Niv Mizza. This is probably a waste of a drill bit. Yeah. Gotta draw some spells. I gotta beat Nikia. I 
crisis. I guess I get to keep on recasting this Nemeza because of all the extra mana from Nikia. So actually, I should not have killed the Nivmizzet. Yeah, that was actually just incorrect to kill Nivmizzet there. That was okay. That was that was my bad. I should have just should have just killed the Krasis, honestly. Yeah, that was that was just bad. Yeah, that that's that was bad by me. Ugh. I messed that up really bad. That's gonna cost me. Because, like, yeah, they would have 11 power in play with Niv-Mizzet and Nikia, but I just can't kill either one. I have to try to drain them out and, and draw other cards, but... <clears throat> of course, we have to, you know, do the whole draw other cards bit. That's a good start. So they do have a way to kill their Nikia with a creature. Please don't kill my creatures. Okay, so they unfortunately got rid of their Nikia. They didn't kill my creatures, which is good. They killed my opponent. My opponent's Nikia died. Let's see some panic in the streets. What? Oh, have at it, boys. Oh, because they're going to play Garrick. Alright, they got this. Oh yeah, it's true. It can't kill Doom Whisperer, because Doom Whisperer is a demon. Alright, we're going to move on to Kethys. All right, so my Ayara deck, you know, someone else in chat said they were, they were playing it also and, and having more success with it, with it than me. I I did not do a very good job of drawing top end cards. Um, we don't have very many, I guess, because they're singleton. Oh come on, just just open the deck. Yeah, I think what we learned is that the Niv Mizzet decks have a lot better top end and, and late game and everything than the Ayara decks. That's what that's what we learned there. You know, I'm I'm relying on Command the Dread Horde and Citadel really is like my two really powerful cards. We only saw Citadel the one time. You know, we we only drew out of those two cards, we only drew one once. And so we drew a Citadel one time and we played it. And I had two chances because I also had a draw card also. So I had two chances to to um to do a whole lot. But it was land on top. We reset the library, and it was still land on top. And then my opponent killed the Citadel. So yeah, our deck looks pretty underpowered compared to Niv-Mizzet there. Um, Infian, you're 2-0 with this deck so far, by the way. Good job. Good job. So yeah. 
Uh, yeah, the Cauldron Familiar Witch's Oven is pretty difficult to pull off. Those should probably go. And honestly, I should probably just have more top end stuff. You know, I should probably have more four, five, and six really powerful cards um, in here for this format. Because, yeah, I could. Um, correct. You can only play one of there. All right, so that's a Yara. Uh, first uh, crack at Brawl here. Not too successful from a win loss standpoint, but, you know, like we're, we're learning and everything. And. Um, and it was enjoyable to play there. And yeah, so it looked like Niv-Mizzet was more powerful than Ayara. At least how I have the Ayara deck built here. Alright, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, I hope you hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And um, also, please check out my Patreon page, which is pretty new. Um, I'll put the link here in chat, but it's also down in the video description. Uh, patreon.com slash Todd Stevens MTG putting uh, written content over there but if you want to help support my videos it's three dollars a month um, if you enjoy my content but thank you so much for watching some Ayara Brawl and I'll see you for the next video